This seems obvious enough to me. Uh, although some architects bridle at being called prostitutes, I don't see why. Uh, it's a very old profession and, very, and used to be a very noble one where you do your best. And, uh, and we're glad we're wanted. But I think one more Henry Moore in front of one more Oxford College yes. or one more American courthouse and I will throw up. The whole tonality of architecture has changed now. Everybody wants to preserve the old. Everybody wants they could preserve any old barn if they could. It's a little bit, they carry things too far, seems to me. We're just as small, just as self-centered, just as egotistical, just as mean as any soprano you've ever known, <laughs> or any ballet dancer, and there's nothing worse uh, more difficult than that except for a professor of biology. It was with the Pennzoil building in Houston, Texas, that Johnson and Verghese really broke the mold of the tall building as it had previously existed. What they did was, first off, they broke it into two parts, neither of which was more prestigious than the other. Next, they got those two parts to come within kissing distance of one another, and they gave the tops of them a rather peculiar configuration. Philip Johnson will never tell you this himself, but I'm going to add that the Pennzoil building was a success because it is that rarest of things, a sexy office building. You drive along the ring road that goes around Houston, and there are those two towers reaching out for one another in a confidential way. Beat that as a sales pitch. He was building museums almost as fast as most other people were buying toothpaste. But I suspect that the one he likes most is the one that he built on his own property as a sculpture gallery. And by the way, it's a great place to have a party. What I was trying to do here is, uh, is perfectly clear was that my passion is in the first place for stairs, uh, for motion of the body through space, both laterally and up and down because then it's the only way you can get completely involved in space which is after all what architecture is all about some of us think and uh and so by doing the stairs into a room then room stairs stairs room i mixed up uh, tried to mix up uh, several different ways of experiencing space and uh it, it turned out to be my best room but uh th at this time it occurred i was still very anxious uh, interested in museum architecture and the main trouble with sculpture courts, especially the Museum of Modern Art, is that you can't see one sculpture without looking in at uh, Picasso's goat on the other side. You know, and you get uh, it's very frustrating not to be able to isolate the sculpture. So I have here a series of one, two, three, four, five separate uh, rooms entirely, and each one. So every single piece of sculpture can be seen in its own in its own setting.